Okay, so today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration and explanation of my semi-automated uh, vacuum pouring machine. Um, so I'll start off by describing some of the components of the machine and I'll point them out for you. So on the bottom, uh, you'll notice there is a shop vac and that's just the vacuum source uh, for the machine. Um, you have your power supply right here, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is the mold platform where the mold would actually sit uh, in this area here. Uh, you have your main platform which includes your clamp for the plastic. On the top you have your heater box which provides heat to melt the actual plastic. Um, through here in this section uh, basically it's uh, threaded rod, gears, uh, whatnot just to have the actual uh, platform move up and down. On the right you have your control box, uh, which includes the Arduino microprocessor and all the related uh, electronic components. Your stepper driver, and behind that is the actual stepper motor, uh, which provides uh, motion for the actual platform. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll just quickly show you how the clamp works. Um, hopefully you can see that up there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, basically it's just a boxed in section of... Uh, uh, just metal, like flat metal stock, um, and it's sitting on like a type of hinge, and you have toggle clamps up here to clamp it down. So you'd slide your piece of plastic in uh, to this section here, um, basically push down on the, the clamp, set your toggle clamps down, lock it into place, and that provides a seal um, as well as obviously fixing the plastic into place. Uh, because I won't be melting it for this demonstration, I'm going to unclamp it uh, so the vacuum doesn't pull on it so hard. Um, and actually I'll just remove it so you can actually see better. So once I've removed that, it's fine. Um, and quite simply, uh, there's just a start button. You turn the, uh, you press start, um, the machine will heat up and I'll show you basically what's going to happen. I've unplugged the heater just for this demonstration because there's no plastic in there. Uh, but pretty much the machine just takes care of itself. It'll push the, the mold into the actual plastic and uh, you'll end up with your part and you don't really have to do anything other than hit the start button. Um, so, I'm just going to walk across here. So basically, yeah, just hit start and the indicating LED lights up uh, telling you that the heater box is on. It does get quite hot so uh, it's something you wouldn't want to touch. Um, after a predetermined uh, number of time, basically it's set by this knob here, it's your, it's your time. Uh, basically the cycle will end and the mold platform will drive itself up into the actual mold and the vacuum cleaner will turn on in a moment. Okay, so I've turned the vacuum cleaner off, obviously, so this is just a quick demonstration, and that would be almost one cycle. Um, so you'd end up with your molded part up here. So I'll just take the camera. And so the top of the platform is up here. Like I said, this is where your mold is sitting and the plastic would be in there as well. Uh, so you'd end up with your formed part right here and you would just simply unclamp it, lift it up and remove your part. Um, as you can see also uh, around the edge there is a foam seal uh, that's part of the mold platform and that's what gets driven up into this main platform and so you have a basically you have a sealed section between the plastic uh, and the mold and your vacuum port being in the center, that's what would actually evacuate the air, uh, leaving you with a nice tightly molded part. Um, also, a few other just features of the machine. Um, you can also set the amount of heat uh, you'd like with this knob here. As I mentioned before, the time with this uh, knob here, your start button, and then these two buttons here control the, uh, the, the height of the platform. Um, so, if it's at the top, obviously I can't move it up anymore, uh, but I can move the machine back down. And I could obviously...
obviously move back up if I wish. Um, one thing you'll also notice is that the platform is actually moving a little bit slow right now. And that's because I actually bought the wrong uh, stepper driver. I thought that uh, this driver would do single steps, but it does not. It just does micro stepping. So I'm actually stepping at quarter speed right now. Um, so I've ordered a different one and uh, it does single steps. And when that comes in, um, basically the machine will move four times as fast. So uh, <laughs> you'll see the mold platform really drive itself up into the mold and not, uh, not really give the plastic a lot of time to cool. Because um, obviously having it cool before it touches the mold would be a bad thing. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be sped up. And uh, the basic concept is there. So as you can see, the machine is now complete. And I'm going to begin testing uh, some plastic and melting it. Um, seeing what kind of temperatures and what kind of time uh, the machine requires. Hope you enjoyed.